Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the top 4 best screen recorders which you can use to record your games. Now, I have done a similar video like this before. That was the 2019 version and now I'm doing the 2020 version. And many people liked the previous video which I did. So yeah, so this is my take on like what's the best screen recorders which you can use in 2020. So the first one, now I'm still going to stand by this even though the lot of you disagreed but it's going to be OBS. Now as you guys can see here, I mean recording this video with OBS and to be honest guys, it's the best. I mean, okay, it has its cons, it's very hard to use, it's not user friendly and sometimes it lags a lot. Now if you don't have a good computer and you crank the settings up for your like bitrate and all that, it will definitely lag. But if you play it in like, I mean, but if you reduce your settings and all that, it won't lag that much. And I think I have, I, I made a video on my channel for a low end PC settings for OBS. So you guys can check it out if you want to like use OBS. So now like, so this, this is how OBS looks like. And you guys can, there's a settings option here. You can go here. Uh, there's the output tab, the recording section here. You can customize like your settings for your view like your recording things and all that the audio settings the video scale and all that and in case you're playing a very extremely powerful game like a game which demands a lot from your computer you can have a separate scene like a scene too for like hey like i'm it's a very heavy game and you can have another scene you can basically keep different scenes for different games like for example, if you're playing GTA 5 or something, which is like an extremely heavy game, you can keep it in scene 2 where your settings for the OBS are kind of low. So you can do it till up to like sound 20 in case you have a low end PC. I mean, if you have a high end PC, man, you can go all out. But in case you have a low end PC, you can do like that. And on for C scene 3 where you're playing like a smaller game, like say like uh, CSGO or something, which doesn't demand a lot from your computer, uh, then you can crank up your OBS settings and then you can record it a bit more. Uh, uh, high scale like at 60 fps and all that so now guys the second uh, best screen recorder which i want to recommend is like um this depends on which graphics card you use now i'm assuming you have some sort of graphics card like if you're uh, nvidia or you're using the amd now if you're using nvidia you would obviously have the geforce uh, drivers like the geforce experience now if you are using the geforce experience that means you can use the nvidia shadow play so this is my desktop right here. So if I press Alt plus Z, this is what ex opens. This is called the GeForce Experience. So now what happens is like, uh, like I can go to my settings right here and uh, uh, there's video capture. Here I can set it to like how I want to capture the video. Now surprisingly, this thing from Nvidia is like super good. Like I used to use this all the time. Uh, like it's that good. I also seen many people use this on their YouTube videos as well. As well, this is so good in video recording. And the best part of this is like it's so easy to set up. You just need to go to video capture. You need to set up your bit rate. So I kept mine all the way up. But I'm just saying, if you keep your a bit rate, bit rate like till 50 or something, it will con it will take a lot of space. Your videos will be so big in file size. And you can set up the video resolution, the uh, SPS, and all that. And you can also set up where you want to like uh, store the recordings like the videos where you want to get stored and all that and that's it and then you also need to set up your like a microphone which microphone you choose is what i do all the time i might stick set up the wrong microphone for example this is the microphone which i don't doesn't even exist the yeti yeah so now my audio will be recorded so this is the best one like i mean if you're using nvidia graphics card like, this is the go-to now, if you're using AMD, there's something called the AMD Relive. Now, unfortunately, I can't use that to show you guys. But then here are some clips on how it will look like. So this is the AMD equivalent of the uh, NVIDIA Shadow Play. Uh, so this is also pretty good. I heard like I, I read reviews like this is pretty good and it's similar to the GeForce Experience uh, Shadow Play. So yeah, you guys can check it out if you have the AMD graphics card and you guys can take advantage of it. So the third one which I recommend is the Streamlabs OBS. Now again, I, I know you guys are thinking why OBS again? But then Streamlabs OBS, I'm not going to talk too much about Streamlabs OBS. But then Streamlabs OBS is kind of similar to OBS. But then it has, it uh, reduces the one of the cons of OBS that it has, it, OBS is so complicated. So in Streamlabs OBS, it's kind of easy. You just go there, you just... Uh, set a few settings and you're like good to go but then in unlike OBS it doesn't have the so many confusing options and all that it eliminates all of that so 
stream labs obs is great if you want something which is more user friendly you know uh and which is quick to set up and quick to go so yeah so stream lab obs is like the more friendlier version of obs and that's also pretty good i used to use that too so guys i made a bonus one for you guys so now i know many people like uh can't find the options which i mentioned to be quite cool because one i mentioned one with the amd graphics card or the nvidia graphics card and in case you don't have that and you don't your computer is finding hard to use obs okay i made something one more it's called bandicamp bandicamp is actually a very small video recording software and it's also a paid one but then you don't need to worry if you go to pirate bay or some cracked website you can basically get it for free now i can't link this down below because pirate bay keeps changing and depending on where you live the fire the whatever it will link down might work or might not work so i'll just say you guys can go and search up pirate bay or something and you can find get a web, get a proxy which is working you can type bandicam download it cracked version and so this is how bandicam looks like now uh you can choose like i'm i open planet zoo right here and if it shows planet zoo and i'm in gaming mode and i can just straight up start recording as you guys can see if i click record as you guys can see a 294 3 it keeps increasing actually it's increasing quite slow not sure why though last time when i recorded it was going in a speed of light, like it was going in like what 3 4 mbps at a second like that anyway so uh so this is bandicam it also has option for normal screen recording you can choose precisionly where you want to record and all that So if you want to record just like one part of your screen like maybe down here you're playing some application and all that you can do that you have that option and it has normal presets so you can record like YouTube uh 1080p or like uh, H264 60 fps Nvidia NVENC or like or if you don't want all this you want to customize your own settings you have an option right here you can choose what sort of file you want how much size what's the quality you have all these options So that way and you can also have this image you have these extra options too you can put your add your webcam you can add your mouse click effects yeah so many good options so i never i never tried bandicam before and i try i tried it just now and the file is pretty good i saw the recordings and it's pretty good and i would recommend you guys to use it if you can't uh, use whatever the previous i said before so yeah this is bandicam which is i feel like the best one So this is Bandicam which I feel like is one of the best uh, screen recording softwares. And so guys, if you found this video to be helpful, make sure to leave a like, get subscribed to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.